Sagittarius fire sign. Welcome back to Empress Light Tarot. It's me, Tony. We are gathered here today for your love messages from the Carter Manti. All right, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that we continue to grow. We're here to get your current love energetics. Let's see what's coming towards you, Sagittarius. And there are guys of love or romance in the matters of the heart. What advice do you need? What can we help you be made aware of? So yeah, I'm using the change tarot. Still kind of stiff, but I like it. Got to break it in. Highest messages of love and life for our Sagittarius watchers. What can the Sagittarius collective? <laughs> okay. Four of Cups. There's an offer coming towards you. But that is considered the missed opportunity card. Because this person looks emotionally distant, distant, or they look like they're not really accepting any emotional. Like this person already has three cups. <laughs> this person is like not another one. <laughs> but this third, this fourth cup is being divinely guided by spirit. This person may be emotionally meditative, or that's just the type of person they they are. They don't move on their emotions, but they move on intuition. All right, so we'll see what uh, the rest of the messages uh, is here for you today, Sagittarius. What's the energy of the person coming towards Sag? It's a lot. The Hermit. Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Let's get one more, a good one. So this person may be a Virgo or they may be a Hermit. Deeply introspective. They know themselves. They possibly been on some sort of a self-love journey. That's why they're not just accepting any cup or any romantic offer. They have taken accountability. They respect themselves and they've done the introspection. Value. Yeah, they value themselves. Seven of Pentacles. They put in the time, the effort, the growth, and the accountability to garden, to create this garden, right? Mm -hmm. It's not just an external garden. It's reflective of the work that you're doing inside of yourself, right? <clears throat> now they definitely have the wherewithal to uh invest in a relationship the ten of wands burdens and responsibilities they may be distracted with work or something like that maybe this person's at a distance from you as well the ten of wands is movement and sometimes travel right movement from one home to the next or just straight up traveling Unless it's some sort of a physical discomfort or frustration or something like that with the Ten of Wands, dropping burdens, tiredness, and what have you. And they got a cycle nonetheless. Some sort of a physical cycle. One more shuffle. the bottom nine of wands yeah this person is on some sort of a they could they they could have been on or they're currently on some sort of a healing journey perhaps the nine of wands the wounded warrior right chiron that they turn into the uh helping hand once they heal themselves and then the hermit of course is all about health matters usually what i don't say is health matters is health matters whether it's physical mental or emotional <laughs> again i think i said it in aries is reading or maybe Sagittarius is reading, um, <clears throat> or Leo, sorry. Things that you keep, you know, thoughts that you keep up in your head can cause mental illness, right? If you don't release them. Also, emotions that you don't deal with, they can affect you, um, your health, right? Yeah, so maybe this person is working on some sort of a self-love or they've been on this self-love journey. They're about to already close out this cycle, though. Yep. Completion, uh, the world card, closing out a cycle in order to open a new cycle, right? Yeah, this person has gained some sort of a confidence or again, some sort of an inner knowing. They could like to travel. Mm -hmm. That can definitely open up people's um, intuition. It can help them get over certain fears and anxieties as well. You know, that's the thing that's wrong with um, black folks. Like they be stuck in the hood all day long. And it's like, <laughs> do that for 20, 30, 40 years and keep passing that culture down to your children. Right. <laughs> it's like, no wonder. Right. 
but it can be helped sometimes. We know the world that we're living in, and every culture has its, you know, its ups and downs or its chains that they had to deal with at a certain point in time. So, you know, I don't really like, um, I don't really like offending people. <laughs> is that true? Anyways, the hair font is here. Oh, this is a female hair font. That's cool. Why are there two men here, though? Because <laughs> the hair font is usually like a religious figure, like a pastor or a preacher that's marrying people. <laughs> but the hair font, uh, Taurus Energy, is also a teacher as well. So I guess he could be teaching these people entrepreneurship or something like that. It's a woman, though. It's funny. <laughs> you can have a female spiritualist <laughs> headed towards you or an entrepreneur. Or masculine for some of you feminines. <laughs> well, that was at the top of the deck. At the bottom of the deck, we had the Knight of Wands, a lover, Gemini energy, the Chariot, Cancerian energy. They went in a rush towards you and built this. Uh, it looks like a soulmate relationship. Boy, this this angel's hair looks like mine. Jesus Christ, it looked like Wolverine's hair. It looked like Afro Samurai's hair. <laughs> Three of Cups. No, but yeah, this person wants to. They want to gather with you. They want to celebrate with you. They want to toast with you. The High Priestess. Yeah, this is your twin flame, actually. A divine counterpart. Knight of Cups. They want to romance you. Strong proclivity of uh, towards romance with you. But no, look what we have here. We have the High Priestess, the Hermit. My twin flames spirituality and religion marrying each other right just like science and uh, you know practical religion and all that type of stuff um the lovers is here three of cups right yeah they're being very picky very choosy like i said going back into the beginning of the reading this person follows their gut or their intuition they'll know when the right lover comes in because it won't be these you see how they're normal and they're just there while this one's floating <laughs> yeah so they're waiting for that that right option to come towards them, and that was you. I don't know if you resonate as a spiritualist or a religious individual or both, but that's how they're viewing you. That's how spirits viewing you guys and bringing you guys into union as the lovers. Mm -hmm. There may be a little bit of distance, or you may have met this person online. This has the um, the uh, what's it the opportunity. This it has um, this could be a very deep connection here. You can learn a lot the world about ex while exploring each other and expanding. Chariot travel even, but that's nurturing and willpower and the will to not give up. The hermit, you know, learning you know yourself introspection, but also learning the world around you, right? How you fit into all of that, right? And getting um. No, is it no doubt? Because technically it was her brother's band and then, you know, she became the leader after he didn't want to lead anymore. So is it Gwen Stefani? Or did she make that song while she was with No Doubt and underneath it all? Yep. Anyways, Four of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and Ten of Wands. Maybe a little bit of sexual frustration they're dealing with. But remember, this is high amounts of spirituality here. Wands, it's physical, but it's also spiritual, right? It's inertia. What is emotion? Energy in motion, right? It cannot be destroyed or lost. It can only transfer from one place to another, right? So I don't know. Maybe this, this person needs a good workout. <laughs> or um, they need to do some meditating or something like that. Yeah, I guess they already have. Yeah, it looks like they have a... Because Seven of Pentacles is time, and they're already sitting here meditative. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's how religious people are, right? Nuns, they take a vow of celibacy their whole entire lives, right? Even, like, um, men of religion, right? They, um, like, for myself, like, I have some sort of a standard, um, basically, the hierophant of how I look at things um, romantically and sexually and that sort of thing, right? So, yeah. Very interesting connection headed towards you. Let's get a break deck message. Powerful connection headed towards you, Sagittarius. It only seems right. The High Priestess and the Hierophant. A spiritual marriage or a spiritual union coming towards you.
break that message. Love, romance, and it matters of the heart. Nine of swords and two of wands. Yeah, this person loses sleep thinking about the distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, they may be having dreams about you as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe astral traveling. But it's not the same as actually having, being with you, right? Three of cups. They want to kick back with you. They want to Netflix and chill with you. They want to toast with you, right? So, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe um, if you guys are at a distance, you may want to vlog, uh, vlog with this person, this individual, FaceTime with this individual, give them some peace of mind because, ooh, this person is tore up right now. <laughs> like, this could literally be you and this is them. <laughs> yeah. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Patience and peace. Yeah, you might be this person's uh, peace and um like a cure for happiness isn't that no a cure for something you you <laughs> you have some sort of an antidote or medicine but it makes sense because temperance usually the earth angel sagittarius right is usually mixing some sort of a potion or some sort of a elixir or a panacea right some sort of an ambrosia right? they're a doctor or some sort of an alchemist let me get another break deck message get some more clarity on that the sun card and the empress yeah this person is coming towards you yeah you're this person's wish fulfillment they may see you as like uh, their dream girl or their dream guy they get extremely happy uh when they witness you basically um they may have a child already i'm not sure or they could be very childlike or just extremely creative this person may be ready to have a child <laughs> Because the Empress usually appears pregnant. Yep. I think she's pregnant in this one. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, you see the actual child here, right? The divine child, right? The divine mother and the divine child. Divine masculine energy, actually, the sun and divine feminine energy. So, again, yeah, this is your person. You guys um, are very close in vibrational energy here. They want to come in and romance you. Uh-huh. Three of Cups. No, don't be scared. We saw the Hierophant and the High Priestess and that Lover's card, right? <laughs> this Twin Flame connection. <laughs> but that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Like the video. Uh, subscribe. I'm sorry. Yeah, subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.